Hello everyone, this is Luca with GSI. Today we're going to talk through the installation process for the QRS-1. Now, the installation, regardless of whether you have a Hyper, or an FPE, or a GT Max, or an X29, any one of our wheels will have the same process for this installation. Now, let's take a look at the QRS and what you get with it. This is what the box looks like. So when we open that up, we'll see some explanation of some of the general functions of the QRS, as well as the accessories. So on the left here, these are the shims. These are used if you feel the connection between the wheel and the base freeing up a little bit over time. From the factory brand new, it should be rock solid. There's uh, virtually zero play. and if we do feel that there is a little bit uh, over time, these are provided so that you can add more to the base side and remove any play that uh, may have developed over time. But that's what these are for. And we have our two Allen keys. We have a three millimeter and a two millimeter. The three millimeter will be used to actually install the QRS onto the back of the wheel. And the two is used to remove some screws on the base side, which will allow us to then install the shims. We're going to go through all that in detail in just a second here. And we have our beautiful red QRS in the box here. This is what that looks like. Here's the base side with the shim cover. We're going to detail that in a moment. And this is the part of the QRS that will actually be going onto the back of the wheel. So the mechanism is uh, very straightforward. You just pull, and that's what will allow the wheel to be released from your wheelbase. Continuing onwards, we have some provided nuts. We have the wheel side screws. And here are those longer screws which will pair with the nuts. So this is used for uh, scenarios where you don't exactly have a threaded side going into uh, a wheelbase or a hub. And so moving on with the installation process, we're going to get our six screws out. And we're going to grab our Allen key. And we're going to move on to the installation process. So the first thing I like to do is have the QRS separate from the wheel. And we're going to place those screws into the accommodating countersunk uh, holes here. And so when they're all in, you'll see it's perfectly flush on one side with the screw threads poking out the other side. And so the correct way to orient this is to have the GSI logo facing upwards. So GSI logo facing this GSI logo. Now we're going to slowly lower that and line up the threads and start to pre-thread them. And then we'll take the longer side of our Allen key and get those screws tied down or threaded down. So we're just going to fast forward through this bit. When we're back, all of these will be in the wheel. OK, so now that we've got all of our screws threaded down, we're not done yet. We do want to make sure that they are tight. And so you'll want to use the stubby end of the Allen key and go all the way around and start to tighten this down. You just work your way around until they're all nice and snug. And so once the QRS is installed on the wheel, how do you get the base side on to your wheelbase? So in the case of the SimiCube, we have an adapter called the SC2X, and this is actually used to replace 
the default SimiCube puck, which is used on all SimiCube wheelbases. So how you'll go about this is you'll remove the three screws from the SimiCube puck, remove this, and you'll have three screws we provided. They're identical to the SimiCube ones, except they sort of match the black on black. The choice is really yours, which you use. But then once it's installed onto the SimiCube wheelbase, we'll then be able to line up, again, GSI logo facing upwards, the wheelbase uh, side of the QRS and install it. So then now you'll have a direct connection to the SimiCube wheelbase. There won't be like an intermediary um, quick release onto another quick release. It's just the QRS side. So that is what this adapter is for. We've received a lot of questions about this and so hopefully that's answered many of them. And if you are using your QRS for uh, quite a while and you know this a little bit of play develop, the way you can resolve that is simply by removing these two screws and adding maybe one of these shims. It's 0 0.05 millimeters thin, and so it isn't much, but that's going to enable you to remove any possible play. And so once it's all connected, you just basically have to push it on like so. You don't have to pull the latch here to get it on. You could do that if you, if you would like, but you could just as well just push it straight on and have that rock solid connection. Hope that helped. Feel free to leave any comments and we'll get back to you. Thanks.